Hi, I'm Linda with the Spellbinders Tuesday video tutorial. The theme for this week is Memorial Day. For my project today I'm using the Divine Eloquence Nest Abilities from the Card Creator series and I'm using the largest size and then the next size, 3 and 4, and I'm also using labels 28, number 5 die. Spellbinders number their dies from the smallest to the largest, the smallest being number one. I'm also using the poppy stamp from Our Daily Bread, which I have already stamped and coloured, and I'm using the Authentic Seasons paper, along with Wanda Scrap Bling and Imagine Craft inks. I've pre-cut my dies, but now I'm going to emboss them using the base mat and then my die and card or paper, the tan mat and the pink embossing mat and I'm going to wind them through the grand calibre. Right, we've put away the uh, grand calibre and now I'm going to use Spellbinder's new tool, the tool in one, to remove the little bits from the die and you'll see how easy this is, you can see them falling on the mat. And then the other end is fabulous for just, well there you go, just running underneath to get your die out. And there we have it, clean and easy, and a clean die. This is the new tool in one. I've removed the labels 28 from the die and I'm just sanding around the edges using a sanding block to add the impression of another dimension and to age it slightly. For the base of my card I've used the largest die from the Divine Eloquence set and I have left the edge just inside the border to create a card base. I have also used masking tape so it doesn't slip and you can see that it creates a great card base. Now we're going to put the card together by layering the dies and I'm using crafty foam tape on the back for some dimension and just centering it and next I'm adding the image I'll just check I've got the card the right way up yes it does pay to check particularly when you've got an image on the front the image is also on the foam tape And I have cut an extra flower head which I'm going to just pop on with the 3D foam squares to give a bit of dimension on the flower. And my flower has been coloured using memento markers. I have decided that I'd like to sponge around the, the image so rather than remove that from the card I'll just do it while it's in here, on here. And I'm using the Imagine Craft Sook and Inco Delicata in the Golden Glitz. Just moving it around. There we go. I'll remove the die that I've used as a stencil and you can see the added effect that that has and also a bit of shimmer with this ink. Now I've made a double bow using May Art's Sheer Ribbon and I've also threaded the ribbon through the want a scrap slider to give an added effect and now I'm going to glue it to the card just pushing down a little bit to make it hold and now I'm adding some of the want a scrap clear rhinestones just along the border to tie it in And here I have a finished card, just to save some time. I've added some borders along the top of the Divine Eloquence die and I've also adhered a sticker from the Kaiser Craft Remember Me pack. And there we have my finished card. Thank you for stopping by today and I hope that you're inspired to, to use your dies for every occasion. Thank you.